is 2521 based on true story. Let's find the proofs in this video. Before that, don't forget to like and subscribe to Kodo TV and also click the notification bell so you don't miss our latest video. 2521 is a popular Korean drama on Netflix. This drama tells about the main character who is a fencing athlete named Nahido. This story begins with Nahido's daughter, Kim min Che, who accidentally reads her mother's diary. Back in 1998, her mom met a boy named Baek Jin. In short, they fall in love to each other. However, the question is, if Nahido and Baek Jin become a couple in the drama, why did Nahido name her daughter Kim min Che and not Baek min Che? It's the main problem that needs to be solved when you watch this drama. There are several proofs that the stories of 2521 are adapted from the true stories. Let me start with this fact. Have you ever watched the episode 2 of the drama? There is the scene when Hido and Eugene are playing with the water. If you listen it carefully, you will hear a Korean song that used as the background music. The song is 2521 by a rock band called Jaurim. With a vocalist named Kim Yuna, Jaurim has debuted since November 1st, 1997, and this band is a legend in the South Korean music industry. So what do make it special? As we know, Every song which plays in Korean drama always has relatable meaning. It doesn't make sense if you use something that not even relate with the drama. Based on these rules, we assume that 2521 by Jao Rim has connection with the Netflix drama that has the same name. The song was released in 2013 and make we believe there are possible reasons behind it. The song 2521 was released as part of Jao Rim's album called Goodbye Grief. It was a beautiful song with sad meaning. Your sand comes with the wind. I thought it would last forever. 2521. The song of that day comes with the wind. I thought it would last forever. The you and me of the past. The song was written based on the true story of their vocalist Kim Yuna. It tells about the moment with her ex who was 25 and she was 21. According to these articles, it turned out that her ex-boyfriend died suddenly at 27 on the day when Yuna performed her concert in 1997. This became very tragic because it happened a month and a half before her debut. At the time, Yuna said, The fifth death in my life was the death of my boyfriend on the day the Chuseok holiday began in 1997. He wasn't even ill, but it is said that he died while sleeping one night. Everyone said that he was overworked. In last part of episode 10, Hido said that nothing lasts forever, everything is momentary, to her daughter when min tried to mention her mother's vacation photos with Baek Yijin. It's related to the lyrics, which said that I thought it would last forever, the you and me of the past. Okay, now we move to another evidence. In short, Kim Yuna was married and has husband named Kim hyung gyu If the drama is inspired by Kim Yuna's life, we found a common thread why the surname of Hido's daughter is Kim and not Baek. The question is how did they meet? According to the story that was reported from the JTBC program Let's Eat Dinner Together, in the same year as her boyfriend's passing, Kim Yuna met Kim Hyun gyu at a fashion show. At the meeting, Mr. Kim was still an announcer. From there, Kim Hyun gyu who is a big fan of manhwa like Kim Yuna, suddenly sat next to Yuna and started discussing a manhwa. After that, they exchanged emails and lost contact, until finally because of their manhwa, they became friends and then married in 2006. Before finally getting married, it was said that Kim Yuna had never seen Kim hyung gyu as a man, when Kim hyung gyu had been in love with Kim Yuna for a long time. Kim hyung gyu who graduated from SNU Dentistry, was originally an announcer who debuted in 1995. Unexpectedly, in the drama, the term announcer is related to Nahido's best friend, Ji Seung Wan. For your information, Kim Hyung gyu was also a fan of the Jao Rim group long before he knew Kim Yuna and he was the figure who changed Kim Yuna's negative view of marriage. Kim Yuna is now 48 years old. She married Kim Hyung gyu in 2006 and one year later, Kim Yuna gave birth to her first child named Kim Min Jae. What a surprise! Just one letter different from Kim Min Jae. Either Min Jae or Min Che, they are both 15 years old. If we refer to Kim Yuna's story, will Yijin die from work exhaustion? It's just prediction. As we know, Yijin is struggling and working hard for his family. If Yijin really died, this drama will have a sad ending. Next after Yijin's death, Hido will meet her husband, who we know is the biological father of Kim Min Che. In the end, Min Che will learn a lot from his mother's experience and return to Bali again. 
There's nothing wrong if this drama is inspired by Kim Yoon's life. And even then, this drama is only an adaptation and cannot be 100% similar to the original. Because the whole story is up to the producer and writer. So, how about the fencing? Is there any connection between fencing and a true story? To answer this question, we can assume there is a modification of the story in this drama. They combine it with fencing as a sport that made his story for South Korea at the time. The scene when Nahido and Koyurim competed in the final of the 1999 Asian Games actually happened in real life. For the first time in history, at the 2002 Asian Games, two Korean female fencers competed in the final, while in the drama, they changed the year of the event. The final of Nahido and Koyurim was held in South Korea, which was the same as the 2002 Asian Games too. The names of the athletes are Kim Hee Jong and Hyun Hee, where Kim Hee Jong got the gold medal and Hyun Hee got the silver medal. In the same year, about a month before the Asian Games, Hyun Hee was the gold medalist at the 2002 World Fencing Championships. Meanwhile, in the drama, Koyurim is described as a fencer athlete who won an Olympic gold medal. So, you can draw a conclusion from these coincidences. Nahido won against Koyurim, just like our prediction. In conclusion, everything was combined in this drama. They used some parts of the true stories as references. As a result, they built the drama plot very well. That's all that we can share in this video. For the disclaimer, we never know the ending. We can't guarantee the drama plot will be 100% based on Kim Yoon's life, but we still believe Korean dramas are not that easy to predict. So, let's see how the ending of the drama later. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.